Hey guys, Mike here with Dexter. Today we have a 5055 RC door that we'll be installing in a unit today. Our first step is uh, we want to double check that the rough opening is all free and clear of all burrs. This next step, we installed the foam seal. But now that we have the foam seal installed on the door, ready to put the door on the unit. We've ensured that the door must stay locked at all times before the door is installed. So at this point, you can either have someone stand inside the unit to unlock it once the five important screws are screwed in, or you can take the, the keys off the handle to unlock the door afterwards. It's critical that we keep the deadbolt locked because it keeps everything square and aligned during installation. We're gonna take the door, set it in on the sill, and slide the door all the way over to the left to the lock side. Now that we have the door in the rough opening, we're going to screw in the five important screws, one at each hinge and two at the lock. We can now unlock the lock. When we finish screwing all these, the rest of the screws in, we wanna make sure that the screws are perpendicular to the unit. We don't wanna be putting them in on an angle. If you've ordered screw covers and drip caps, now's the time we're going to install these. We're gonna put, on this unit, we're going to put the screw covers on first. We're gonna slide these all the way up so we can't go anymore, snip them off at the bottom, and then we're going to put the drip cap on top. The bottom hole on the drip cap should then go through the top of the screw covers. Now that we have our door installed, we can now open up the door. We wanna make sure we take out all the shipping clips that are installed. We wanna make sure the door is hitting second stage. Second stage, we're all good. We now want to tighten the shoulder bolt. Shoulder bolt is only hand tight coming from the factory. If the door does not hit second stage, you can then adjust the shoulder bolt in different directions to make sure we hit second stage. Once the shoulder bolt is tight, we're gonna take our screw and drive it through the side here. We just want to snug it up. That's it. Not too tight, otherwise it pulls the whole frame in. Let's double check everything works again. Now that we have our door installed, we wanna make sure that the screen door is operating correctly. When we open the door, the screen door should open with the door. If it doesn't, we can adjust the keeper by unscrewing lightly the two screws and adjusting it either up or down. If you look down the lock side of the door, you can see that the reveal is a nice even gap between the frame and the core. Our next one, we want to make sure when you open the door, the door comes open at a 90 degree angle. The next quality review we want to check for is that if the door is in second stage, the lock will lock. If the door is in first stage, the lock should not lock. So we want to make sure that we are in second stage and the lock locks perfectly. Once your door is fully installed and you are still having problems with the door hitting second stage, the shoulder bolt can be removed and replaced with a longer one. Do not put a washer on the same shoulder bolt that comes from the factory. There we go, that's how we install a 5055 RC door.